Okay, guys, so we're moving on to 3.3, right? Now it says, Lisette also plans to install an underground cylindrical water storage tank on her property as shown in the diagram below, okay? So there's the tank. It gives us a bit of a view here. Then it says that the capacity of the tank is 8,000 liters. It tells us that the length is 2.9 meters and it gives us this volume formula, okay? And it tells us that one liter equals 8,000 centimeters cubed. Okay, so we're probably going to have to do something with volume, okay? So let's look at 3.3.1 first. It says, give one possible reason why Lizette would plan to install the water storage tank underground, okay? So it might be because it's ugly, right? It's not the nicest thing to look at. It might be because of it takes up a lot of space. And if you put it underground, at least you could, you know, still use this, the, the, um, piece of land above it for like a garden or something like that, right? So you can look at the memo for some more reasons, right? But I'm just going to say um, space, okay? Space constraints or something like that, right? You can, you can obviously add to this. I think it's more important that you understand it than necessarily see me write out a whole answer, okay? Let's look at 3.3.2, right? Which is where the bulk of the marks for this question sits. It says, calculate in meters the diameter of the water storage tank. Okay, so what do, what do we have? I think that's what's important. So we have the volume, right? So we have the volume over here and we have the length. So we have this guy and we have this guy. We do not have the radius. We do have pi. They've given us pi over here. So they want us to work out the radius. And then remember, two times the radius is the diameter, right? So if we work out the radius, we can work out the diameter. Okay, and they've asked us to do it in meters. Okay, so let us firstly write out the formula. So volume equals pi times radius squared times length, right? So our volume, right? So volume we said equals 8,000 liters. We said that length equals 2.9 meters. And we know that pi equals 3.142, okay. Now, we're in a bit of a pickle now because this 8,000 liters, right, is, is not the same as meters. And when we do calculations, it's important that we make sure that everything is in the same unit. So we're comparing like with like. And also, we want to get the radius in meters, right? So we actually want to convert this into meters. That's actually what we want to do, okay? But they don't give us the conversion to meters, right? They give us this conversion to centimeters. So we're going to have to go to centimeters and then to meters. So it's a little bit of like a roundabout way, but it's okay. Let's, let's see, right? So it says one liter equals a thousand centimeters cubed. Okay. So 8,000 liters is going to equal, right? We times that size by 8,000. So we are going to have to multiply this side by 8,000, okay? So we're going to say 1,000 times by 8,000. So it's like, oh, it's like 8 million now, right? It's got six zeros, okay? So now we have it in centimeters cubed, okay? So we, we're getting closer to meters, right? But we actually want to put it into meters. So how many centimeters cubed are there in meter cubed? Now, that's not necessarily an easy one, but let me show you a way of remembering it, okay? So let's imagine that this is a square that is one by one meter, okay? So we know that the area of the square, right, equals one meter squared, okay? Length times breadth. But each of these meters, right, is actually 100 centimeters, right? So we could say the area of the square is actually 100 times 100, which is 10,000 centimeters squared, okay? But now we are actually doing volume, right? So now we've done the conversion for when it's area, but we're doing volume. So let me draw a cube for you. And we'll use exactly the same reasoning, right? So we're gonna say this is one meter by one meter by one meter. So volume of this little cube Oh, there's a hideous little drawing of a cube. Equals one by one by one. So it's one meter cubed 
but if we want to now put that into centimeters, each of those meters becomes 100 centimeters. So the volume of the cube is 100 times 100 times 100, right? So 100 times 100 times 100 is a million. Okay, so it's got, it's got six zeros, okay? So what this tells us is this one meters cubed equals a million centimeters cubed, okay? So that's not a problem. Now we can use this ratio to find out what are centimeters cubed over here is in meters cubed, and then we can just solve, okay? So we say, we know that one meters cubed equals a million centimeters cubed, but now we have eight million centimeters cubed. What is that in meters? Well, we know what's happened here is we've times it by eight. What we do to the one side, we have to do to the others. So the volume actually equals eight meters cubed. Okay, so that is important. Let's now put it into our formula, which we put up here, and solve for the radius. So we have eight meters cubed equals pi times by the radius squared times by the length, okay? So now we have our equation, and what we want is we want this by itself, right? We want r by itself. So what we do is we divide, we're going to divide by all the things that are multiplied by r, right? So we're going to divide by pi, and we're going to divide by the length. But what we do to the one side, we have to do to the other side, okay? So we cancel those there, and then this just becomes r squared on this side, which is what we wanted. And let's simplify that side. 3.142 times 2.9. So that side is this 0 0.877. So just put it, don't have to write all of it out, right? You can just write it like that, okay? So when r is squared, right, it equals this length, okay? But we don't want r squared, right? We just want r. And how do we get rid of a squared? We square root it, okay, which you can do in your calculator. But remember, what we do to the one side, we have to do to the other. So this side just becomes r. Let us square root this answer that we have there. And our length, right, of r is going to be 0 0.937 meters. Okay, so that is r. But what did the question ask? It asked for the diameter, right? So the diameter, right, is 2 times r, which is 2 times 0, 0,937, right, which is 1.87 meters. Okay, so that is our answer there. It is a bit of a tricky question right? Mainly because of the conversions and then some of the manipulation here. But it's a very good one to practice because if it comes up, then you know exactly what to do. Okay, so that's that one done. Cheers, guys.